here. I have entered this Kanik Topwater Rodeo, and I figured I'd put up there. This will be only the third time I've did this. This thing's almost never on when I'm on, uh, so I'm kind of excited about this one. This one's pretty fun. Again, I don't claim to be a pro at any of this. I'm just putting this up merely to help you guys, and it's kind of a play along, so to speak, uh, for any of you guys on my friends list that may have never played in this one. Uh, basically, you're just scoring points off of Bull Trout, Northern Pike, and the Dolly Varden. I don't think anybody's probably going to go for the Northern Pike. Um, it's kind of a confusing run. Again, I'm not going to take credit for the uh, the run itself. Uh, between, I think, Krellick, Super Dave, and anybody else that's kind of put that together, you can kind of find all that on the internet. Uh, again, going for the Bull Trout, Dolly Varden. One uh, key information is you have to use um, your keep net, of course, and it has to be top water only. In other words, walkers, poppers. Uh, that sort of thing. So, again, the uh, scores, I wanted to say uh, probably as high as 11, 1,200, maybe as low as 900, 1,000, somewhere in there. I've finished, I want to say, the first time I did around 600 and the second time around 800. Don't know where I'm going to be. I might get worse, might get better. I never know. Uh, I'm actually going to enter in and just kind of show you guys a few marks in the event that you didn't have them. For anybody that might log on and watch this video in the future, uh, just to give you guys a, a heads up on marks and that sort of thing and kind of the basic concept uh, you'd want to spawn at the first the middle spawn point here at the uh, angling middle earth you'd want to stand by this rock and cast towards those two markers and let it float down you guys can uh, get that whenever we go into the deal but you know the comp stands right here again super dave krellick uh kind of the guys that uh, originated this thing so Big thanks to those guys, but this should be a fun one. Uh, kind of just casting there, letting it float. Uh, if you do well there, pick up a couple trophies, uh, unique of each. Uh, then you want to come over to this spawn point. Walk way down here to your right. And then uh, once you get over to there, uh, the marks again. Uh, stand mark. Oh, wrong place. Whoa, hold on, we'll be internet just a little late, but I just wanted to make sure you guys get the marks up there. Um... So Rodeo 2 would be there. Again, you're just kind of going out with your walker. Uh, most people are going to use walkers. And then uh, got the Dolly Varden both there. If somehow you do good there, you can actually come up here. Dolly Stand 3. Uh, cast over this rock, and I'll show you as it goes. But uh, just in case nobody had those markers, uh, those are the markers. Again, big credit to uh, Krellick and Super Dave on those. So again, we both know those guys are kind of the upper tier on the, uh, especially here at this lake in particular so and i actually don't even know if i joined that okay so here we go here's the uh, top water rodeo here at kanik i'm gonna start out with i want to say the patriot walker uh, the jolly walker does work uh obviously the x series walker i might just go ahead and start with the uh jolly walker in the event nobody has the patriot walker so i will Again, as you guys well know, I don't, I'm not afraid to use some of the other lures and stuff, so. Oh, uh, you missed it, D. I'm sorry, bro. That's horrible. Yeah, I did that the other day, and I thought I applied for something. I guess I didn't, or like it locked up and, or something. I, I don't know what happened. But basically, guys, what you're going to want to do, cast out here, let it float. You're not really wanting to reel off too awful much. Uh, you're just kind of hoping they come up and bite. So I, I, I'll barely reel, give it just a nice pull back the thing is on these that i've noticed man they will miss it again i don't assume that we'll have a this will be the third time i've played in this i haven't had an issue with bite rate it's more of just the fish missing it so uh, we'll try a couple different walkers like i said i want to see as you see there i was really patient and just let it take an under now you will miss a, a ton of these things or you can miss a ton i've noticed that and that kind of will affect things so Generally speaking, the, the concept that I've got from this is basically try to get a unique, uh, the bull and the dolly. Uh, if you miss one or the other, you know, I guess don't stay too long. Um, just from there, and I don't, I don't expect to get no 1100 score, but if I could get, you know, from that six to 800 range, I'd be extremely happy. If not, uh, I'm going to give it a good try anyway. And that, see, <clears throat> that there will happen to you a lot. And I'm a really patient person with a, a walker in general. I usually do pretty good, but I've noticed. Uh, so basically what the concept is here, you're not wanting to reel much. Uh, as you notice, I'm barely reeling. I'm just more just trying to get the motion of the walker to go and just kind of let the current do the rest. 
Uh, again, you probably don't want to go too far up here, but I did get a unique second ago doing it this way, just kind of coming up here. Now, somebody else might tell you. <clears throat> Otherwise, you kind of just figure this stuff out for yourself. Again, as all my videos, I'm just trying to give you guys uh, just little pointers and stuff that I've picked up along the way. So uh, this can be really fast-paced as well. So a lot of the OG guys are all going to be playing in this. And if I don't like the bite rate on this jolly, I will switch to the Patriot. I did just a quick practice with a couple of my buddies here. And I did have a fairly quick bite rate in that. Again, just the seconds can count in these things. So instead of switching your lure, especially 30 minutes is going to go so quick in this thing. I recommend, again, you guys pause this. Just in case you don't want to get lost in uh, rotating there. So I'm probably going to throw the Patreon on because <clears throat> I do have it. Uh, also, Josh is saying the X-Series Walker is good uh, as well. Also, again, try not to, uh, you know, it could be short strokes or the long strokes. I guess it just kind of depends. If there's one coming up, will it hit it? And you miss it. That'll happen a lot. Uh, that, that's the problem that uh, you'll run into this. And sometimes that's just going to happen to you. There's not much really you can do, especially on the current. There's a nice one rolling over the... And he missed it. <clears throat> and he's still there to see if he comes back. Probably not. And those are the things that are kind of going to make and break you on this stuff, guys. So try not to get too discouraged. But this one, at least, uh, unlike a lot of the ones that I've posted up, this one uh, is not going to be one that puts you to sleep. You should get a fairly decent bite rate through, throughout. Uh, assuming you don't have really bad luck. But again, the key is you don't miss, you know, you don't want to miss... Too many of those, too, too many opportunities. And the digest of this is basically out of the three spots, you know, just doing the quick math on it, you want to spend about 10 minutes at each spot. So within reason. And it looks like we did get this one. I don't know if it's, it's, it's com common probably, but it is points. Oh, Josh, you getting register either? I should have told you guys that before I went and ate. I'm, I almost said that. I literally almost said that. I thought, well, sure, they've, they've probably registered. <clears throat> That's my. I'm gonna take full blame on that one. And then sometimes you get really lucky and they just jump on your hook here. So, uh, again, uh, the points are gonna come from your, you know, your trophies and your unis. So, uh, not that we're not doing horrible, but we're not doing great. Now we're almost five minutes in here. And I think I only got one trophy, but you definitely want them uniques. Um, again, I'm not a veteran at this one at all, by no by no means. So, yeah, I can't believe Josh didn't register. That is a shocker. Oh, you signed up for Lucky Spot. That's hilarious. Not, not in a good way. Not in a good way, but yeah and i might stream the lucky spot as well i've only played in that one time believe it or not that's another one of those ones that it's weird it's never on when uh when i'm on plane it's usually a weird time or either early in the morning where i'm at work or it's uh you know when i'm sleeping so is that the that's the unique maybe let's hope unless there's three trophies in one spot Okay, we did at least get one unique guy, so I've been putting up a little bit of good content here. Uh, again, I'm probably just going to, since this Patriot Walker's hot and you guys know me, if I, if I get, find something that's doing really good, I'll, I'll stick with it until it's not. I want to have a feeling to switch out, so we'll see. Uh, again, hoping we can pick up this bull next. Uh, keeping track, I want to say I got both the dolly, uh, both the trophies and the uni. Uh, now we're hoping, I guess, <clears throat> Josh could probably help me out on that. So now we're going to assume the bull trout comes in next at this spot, and you only give... Each spot around 10 minutes, give or take. Um, from there, I guess. I haven't played in this enough to know how to kind of figure out the pattern, but I would assume since we've kind of cleaned out the dolly, 
uh, that we want to go for the bull. So, yeah, Josh has confirmed that, guys. We're going to want to, since I've already cleared out the uh, the dolly, I want to go for the uh, bull next <clears throat> within reason. Um, so we're about six minutes in. This thing probably, I know the last two times that I've played in this, or the only two times, it seemed like it. Uh, you blink your eye and this one's over. Uh, again, you're going to miss. That looks probably a trophy bull. It looks like I just missed there. And that is going to happen. And I'm really patient with these walkers, too, which is... Uh, any guys that's watching any of my videos, I'm usually really good at setting the hook. I'm not familiar with this technique as much as a lot of other people are. If you notice, I'm not really reeling. I'm letting the current do the work. And I think OG Krillick was the first guy that figured this out. Um, and then Dave, of course, is good at it as well. And he kind of put his, <clears throat> put his own little twist on it. I did notice in earlier that I was able to kind of come up into here. I don't know if anybody else does this. I was able to kind of come up by this rock before and get him to hit as well, but uh, that's up to you. A lot of guys might just uh, stop if they don't get a bite. So again, I'm just showing you guys different things as I go along. Now one weird thing too, I might have to switch to the, uh, the X-Series walker or something else if I can't get a bull to bite this fairly quick. And Oh, there's a bull. No. Oh, he's on there. That didn't even look like he was on there. That was awkward. Very awkward. Not even a full one, so... I guess I stand corrected. I guess they're going to bite this. So uh, Again, Josh, I could probably should wait this out, you know, the full 10 minutes right here and, and then rotate to spot two, I would assume, after... Um, or at least try to give it this last two minutes to pick up the bulls. Oh, that's another dolly. That's another dolly, right? takes a minute to walk to the spot <clears throat> all right let me try another one yeah that's all personal preference guys like i said i was just getting a little advice from josh he's 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 pretty good at here at the canique creek so one of those I, I don't mind leaning on my friends on something that i haven't did did much again i'm trying to just help you guys out you know whether i'm passing along information from people off my friends list and uh, just fishermen in general on here i like to share the knowledge if it helps you guys out then great uh, it kind of feels like, for whatever reason, the bull don't seem to be too active in here. So I probably, I'm going to try one cast, pause real quick with a different lure, and have a different lure ready for the other spot. Um, again, if you guys don't have some of these lures, I apologize. Most of the time I would rock a, a jolly walker or something, but I do feel like uh, some of you guys that are getting into this, you should have this X-Series walker just by doing missions. I can't remember which mission you get that from, but I would assume most people probably have that. And if you've lost it, that's got to be horrible. I did lose my trophy walker, um, one of the only really rare lures that I lost. I did lose a trophy walker that you can't replace, the half ounce 3.0 at Maku Maku on the Pariah. I was going for arowana, didn't even realize the Pariah was over there, and I uh, got bit off. And that was a bull. Okay, now that we're closing up on this 10-minute mark, I uh, probably should rotate. I guess the thought process would be there if I go to a fresh spot, even though I'm leaving uh, some of the bulls here. I would assume the thought process would be to go ahead and rotate. So we're going to go back over here to the cabin spot, as long as I don't get lost. Again, believe it or not, even though I'm a high rank, I did not power farm this place. I power farmed uh, Ictuba, Blue Crab, um, to get to the uh, Maroon River. So... This is one of these places I kind of just skipped past. I wasn't familiar with it. Didn't really enjoy it. Not knocking it. Uh, I've noticed now that playing in these comps that a couple of these comps are really fun. So now I've been kind of uh, revisiting this lake, so to speak, and trying to uh, figure it out. And I'm still kind of learning this spot here as well. This is kind of one I've known. I know that first spot fairly decent, kind of what to expect out of the patterns. Now this one, um, I would assume they can. Yep. Yeah. Ah, that is so difficult. You almost the instant you see those things, I've noticed in this, you almost just let your lure just set there. Try short pops. All right, Josh is trying. To, says try short pops.
I don't think I got the short pop method down as good as I do the longer oop, the longer pops. I'm also noticing the uh, for whatever reason I tore the Dolly Varden up and the bull the bull seemed to be hating on me for sure. And you guys, a lot of you guys that's played in this, you know, like I said, you don't always have to give up your secret tips, but if there's anybody curious of entering this and they need a little bit of help, don't hesitate on any of these comps that I put up to put in a little little information to help some of these guys out. Even this, though this game's old and a lot of people's played it, you got to realize there's a lot of people that hasn't played in these comps. Uh, they've recently ranked up. Again, out of boredom alone, you know, from, you know, Fishing Planet not being able to add a new lake lately, uh, a lot of people are trying to get, you know, the X-Series gear and it's coming in and enjoy this, <clears throat> enjoy these comps. So any of you guys that are posting stuff up on this channel to help people out, I, I do really appreciate that. We did get a nice, uh, neat, keep it, yeah, alright. Yeah, I think, thanks Josh, I appreciate it. I, I, I noticed earlier, I, I was, I was having a little better luck with the longer pops and just kind of waiting. I noticed my trouble is when I, you know, I'm not used to fishing in a current like this. I, uh, I noticed earlier if I just let that sit there, um, just after a long pop, I was missing less of them. So that's kind of why I did that. Now, Josh, to refresh my memory, since I haven't played in this as much as you should, uh, now again, it's going to be personal preference. So I've got a unique bull here. Uh, and now you're saying the unique, uh, Dolly will be here as well. So it's possible that it's going to cycle through. So basically just 10 spots at spot one that I showed, 10 spots at spot two, or 10 minutes, excuse me, and then 10 minutes at spot three, I would assume. Okay, Dolly is here as well. Have you noticed any patterns where uh, the Dolly liked the, uh, the X-Series versus the Patriot, or has it even really mattered? It's weird. Sometimes you can pick up on those patterns. Could just be in my head, but I did notice over there I couldn't get the the bulls to hit the Patriot. And I come over here, it almost feels like I should go back to the Patriot or the uh, the Jolly. It doesn't seem like I'm getting too much interest out of the uh, the Dolly Varden. So I'm just gonna make that kind of decision here on my own and see if uh, see if that changes, but. Uh, I practiced and warmed up for this a little bit. Uh, the Jolly Walker did work okay as well. Both seem to work okay. Yeah, I didn't know. Like I said, uh, I know this is one of your one of your favorite comps, and I know that you said that you've won this once. So any of your little feedback if it helps any of these guys out, that would be great. You use your river spear rod as well. Yeah, I probably could have set up uh, something a little different there, but I, uh, that must be a trophy. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Patriot or that, so. Got a trophy in there. Again, as you can see, you know, uh, even if this is not something you're going to pick up right away, I think it's something out of the, a lot of these ones that I put up. Again, once I get through my journey of all these, putting them up on the channel, I'll kind of give you a list of the ones that I think that I like the most, and uh, maybe some guys will give some feedback on theirs. Now, everybody's going to have their own little uh, niche in fishing planet, whatever they like to fish for, but I can tell you just a lot of these comps here at the, uh, the Kanique I've noticed that I like, and I don't know that I... Uh, I've had one that I didn't like. I, I don't even think the uh, the one is a little bit annoying. Doesn't seem like I ever get a big one. Uh, I think it's the slam, salmon galore. I hope this height hits. Thank you. Uh, notice there. See, I've been trying to be a little patient. I picked up on that earlier when I was practicing for this. Is uh, it's so easy to get over aggressive. I noticed I, a lot of people were saying that I'm like I'm not picking on Josh. I know he's did this a lot more than me. I noticed when I was doing the short pops, I was missing more. So I kind of just started. Just one quick thing and let it go. And then if I see it, I just kind of sit there. But uh, that could be in my head. But anyway, uh, other than the one, I think it's the Midnight Salmon Glory or something. I can just never get a bigger one in that one. But other than that, I think uh, all these here at Kanique Creek uh, have been enjoyable. Unlike the, uh, I don't know, the Red and Shiny I put up the other day. That one definitely didn't go well. That one is not one I'd recommend. 
uh, as well as the uh, the Eid tournament there at Tiber River, or not Tiber, uh, October. <sighs> that one is not for everyone either. The long drags do work well. Yeah, and I think that, oh, I seem to have that best luck with the, the longer drags too, Josh. So, again, everybody's going to have their own little method. And I, I appreciate you helping out, Josh, because, again, this is not something that, not something that I'm well experienced in, but this is definitely more of a enjoyable uh, comp to join. And I forgot to show the rewards. Do you remember what the rewards are here, Josh? I want to say it was, I, didn't, I normally look at that. Now, do you give the spot, uh, that spot three a, a try at all, uh, or you just go right back to spot one? Oh, the best rewards, the eight foot crank. Yeah, I kind of wish, I know we'd all talked about that before. I do wish, uh, I, I'm sure somebody's watching and through all these comps at some point. I'm sure somebody's messed up on accident and, and lost a, uh, how did that not get hooked? Uh, not lost the, uh, this seems active still. I'll stay, I'll stick it out here in another two minutes and go back over there, but, or maybe give a minute at the other spot. Uh, that, that is one thing, you know, like I said, I'm, I don't want to sit and rant on uh, Fish and Planet because after all, it is a great game, but I kind of wish that, you know, let's say you do lose a lure, um, and the only way you can get it back in these comps, that, that, that kind of gets a little rough if you don't have the, uh, the experience to come in and try to place in that top three. I do really wish they would, I mean, again, nobody's looking for participation <laughs> trophies, but uh, gosh, if they would change it just to the top 10, or at least, go, let's say if, you know, 60 people enter a tournament, at least pay the top seven some X-Series gear. It don't have to be three, because if it's the same, again, not the knock on Deli and Bam. But Bam's a slayer. We know Bam Bam Slams is a slayer, and Deli and all those guys are slayers. It's just, you know... Uh, top seven, pay the top seven, especially if there's 60 entry guys in there, because the top three over and over, come on. And again, I'm not just ranting for myself, I'm ranting for you guys that uh, probably experienced that. And again, I hope, I've noticed more and more as uh, I've gained some subscribers, I've got picked up, you know, Channel Catfish, there's uh, Charger, who's a really good tournament player as well. Uh, he, he's been putting up a little tips and, and tricks on there as well, and that's kind of what I like it about you know doing something like this if you guys can share a little bit of the knowledge because you know i mean i like to say both of those guys in general josh am i in the right spot i'm pretty sure i am um we can try this rock here too but just you guys sharing a little bit of knowledge in general i would assume charger i looked at his profile the other day he, he's a slayer i mean he's won quite a few comps so um i'm gonna assume how does that not even hit that that is three Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm on three. So the last eight minutes, I want to go back over there, take a couple casts here. Now, probably since I missed that uni, uh, that was probably a big blunder on my part. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I would assume a lot of those guys have got so much gear that uh, they're probably not going to run out of it. Again, as you can notice, that this is what I noticed before in this. You're going to miss so many fish, and that's I don't know if you can. One pull and one big pull and wait right here. Okay, yeah, I think I messed up at that first one. I got a little over uh, over aggressive. Yeah, but they're gonna miss as well. So, um, all right, I'm gonna try one more cast here, guys, and I'll go back to the other spot again. I didn't. Expect to do phenomenal again. I'm putting these up here and just kind of show you how the routine goes along. I will make plenty of mistakes here and there, but uh, every once in a while I might surprise you. So um, I've got a lot of good, uh, you know, content that I put up on these. If it's anything, it's markers, you know, uh, lures and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're just going to mess. Okay, I promise. Last cast this time. I know I say that all the time. One more cast. I cannot believe, Josh, that you, you and D's universe both uh, 
Did D Rock did D Rock uh sign up? I've been trying to watch the kill feed. I don't know if he joined in here or not. All right, from there, I guess you guys would say come back here. Uh, cast X amount of times. We'll just see what happens. Fish on is probably just a common in it. Yeah. Closer to the rock on the left. Okay, the one I just drifted past there. Like right here. Oh, the other rock. Okay, yeah, this that's what I've noticed about this lake in general, you know, and uh, I know Super Dave's got this thing down. That was the awkward part when I first came here a long time ago when I was ranking up. It's like I come through here and try to, you know, work a walker or something in a, in a general. You're saying like over here, way over here. Ah, okay. I don't know why I put my marks there. I seemed like I was always getting the hits, like right in here. I could have been just where I was practicing. I need to. Uh... Come on, give us a hit. I'd like to get one more uni at least. I, you know, I had my pace at six to eight hundred probably, so definitely a lot to build on here, guys. So. Again, bear with me. I'll get better as this, and I'm sure you guys will too. But I think you guys being able to visualize kind of how these things play out definitely will be uh, helping you guys. And any of you guys, you know, of the gaming community in general, like a lot of guys on my friends list, I know that that's cool part is every, this is everybody kind of help everybody. We're all kind of just doing this and playing this game to have fun. And I know some people take it really, really serious in these comps. But like I said, you don't have to give up any top secret team information or something like that. But if you can, you know, just help people out with the general stuff, I think that will really... Uh, just number one, it helps grow the game, uh, more participation in these things and stuff. As well as, you know, again, how many uh, X-Series larvae does one guy need or you know, that, that sort of thing. So hopefully they can you know, change that a little bit. Josh, you're probably sitting there yelling at, yelling at me right now. What do this? That's that's uh, <laughs> so unfo I was ready to see. I I was watching you when we were warming up, and you're you, you started going on a tear. I'd like to. It's a shame I didn't get to see you uh, pop up there on that leaderboard and see what you could do with these guys. Uh, Jur looks like he's having a, a pretty good run. I'll, I'll start out here. I'm gonna cast over here, kind of where Josh said. And this is just one of these things, too, guys. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, readjust some of these marks again you guys can if anything you guys go back and watch some of this stuff and uh, you can kind of see any of these errors i mean i, I think that's a, a cool part too is just being able to see uh, where they were oh that's a nice one maybe trophy at least right no just a common ah we'll take it boy that looked a lot bigger could have been because i couldn't have one in a while so 
again, maybe cast out in here. I probably could fine tune these marks a little bit if you guys are visualizing this. Uh, what Josh is saying is to give yourself a longer float, maybe cast over a little farther than where my marks were. Uh, but I know I mean, a lot of times they'll hit like in between those rocks as well. You know, Josh also said that uh, the trophy war. Ooh, come back for it. There we go. There's at least one. But uh, most of the half inch, or the, yeah, the half inch or half ounce 3 0 walkers will work. Uh, again, I'm using the Jolly Walker right now. Again, I, most people will have that, but I would assume the majority of them are going to work. Uh, if you do have the Patriot Walker, a lot of the guys are telling me the Patriot Walker is, you know, pretty solid as well. But. You guys kind of just figure that out on your own. Uh, again, this kind of looks like a, a lower score because I want to say the last time I played in this, those guys were around 11, 1,200 points. So, again, I got a lot of work to do. But, you know, I penciled myself in around six to 800, so I'm okay with that. And as well as I was talking as we can go. Yeah, this one's actually kind of, like I said, most of these Canique Creek ones I've noticed out all these comps I've been playing in, this one's actually pretty fun. So, it's... Definitely beats the huge eyed there at the Tuba River. I would almost say, golly, I don't even know if, why a person would waste his time in that one. I will throw on the X-Series Walker after this. Oh, come on. I was hoping to get... Uh, there's a nice one. He came back for it. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, Josh, I, I appreciate it. I'll look at the uh, look at that here. I don't have enough time to, I don't want to waste too much time, just in case I can get one more unique here and get my score up a little bit. I am going to go ahead and throw on the X-Series just to see if that uh, might stir up a unique here at the end as we got this last minute and a half. Again, uh, I think Josh is right. Fine-tune this mark over probably in this area a little better. And you guys can kind of practice on that as well. But uh, just a lot of you guys on my friends list that's ranked up and just kind of been communicating back and forth with me that you've been enjoying these. Uh, again, just, you can practice this with your friends or whatever, uh, but you can kind of just see the general ideas. You, you don't have to reel this much. You can do short little pops if you want to. You kind of just make this thing your own, but uh, you're basically just using this current, even though you're not getting the, uh, the dot animation, so to speak, where there's one or two dots. Uh, they'll still hit it, which is the odd part. And that's something way back in the day when I, maybe that's why I didn't, uh, care for this lake too much. I came over here and tried working a popper and stuff and I'd get them every once in a while. I was able to get them like off of crankbaits, uh, spoons and that sort of thing. I'm actually going to do a, a quick cast right here just because I got 37 seconds. But yeah, basically that's all you're doing. I did notice one key thing I was telling you guys, you know, I did miss some and I think that's going to happen. I did notice just waiting, kind of like I showed in one of those videos that I put up on top water tips. And I'll, granted, I'm usually not fishing in the current, but that hesitation that, you know, if you wait, sometimes they're going to miss it no matter what. But I did pick up on that, uh, just practicing and playing in this just now. Uh, if you do wait just a little bit as they go to hit, it will help you guys. So anyway, we didn't do a horrible score. We didn't do a great score. I missed some fish, quite a few fish there, but uh, I'm happy with my score of 770. Uh, we did get 17 fish. I think I did get my personal best uh, unique bull. Uh, I think we did pick up at least one folly as well, or dolly varden as well. Yeah, we did. Okay, but we missed several fish. But again, let me uh, show the rewards real quick. I know I always show the rewards. My apologies for not showing them. Thanks, D. I, I wish you could have played with me, buddy. D's universe had practiced with us on this, and me and Josh just for a little bit there. We did a little quick practice run, and uh, uh, both of them had forgot to uh, sign in for the for the uh, comp. I did that before and uh, missed it. This one here is fun. I don't know. How, I just It's never almost never on when I'm on. So, uh, again, the rewards, I guess they're... Oh, hold on, Josh. Uh, this, I would actually enjoy to have... I would like to have that X-Series spinner tail, to be honest with you. I think that would be great to have the pair with your spinners and stuff, whether it's a you know uh, your bass spinner, whatever, bullet spinner. That would be great to have. PVA mesh bag, or you know, I'm not sure on that, but definitely a backup crankbait's always good to have. So, again, this concludes the Kanique Topwater Rodeo. I'm probably going to stream the next one on my list. 
uh, looking at the uh, schedule here. I'm probably going to go ahead and stream this one and get it out of the way um, here at 9 p.m. So that'll be about an hour and a half for me, I think. About an hour and a half, I'm going to go ahead and put this one up, win, lose, or draw, however I do. Uh, we'll just see. No guarantees. But, uh, again, take care. I appreciate all you guys tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on this next one. Good luck to you guys.